for staying with us tonight. Did you know one in six Hoosiers aren't confident about where their next meal will come from? One in six. Most of us shake our heads. But there's one woman in Shelbyville who is using her head and her hands, but mostly her heart, to find a solution. And the Wish Patrol couldn't wait to say thanks. It's a Tuesday evening in Shelbyville. It's going to get really busy for hundreds of residents. That means it's time to get food for the week. I'll try to be back next Tuesday. Okay, we'll be here. No questions asked, no restrictions, no requirements. What up, girl? The M2M Food Pantry. Scrambled eggs, omelets, over easy, however you guys want them. Is a no judgment zone. <laughs> At the heart of it all, Jana Chrisman. She's selfless. She gives everything. She's down here seven days a week working. <laughs> well, I'm going upstairs to check on everybody. Then. Jana and her friend Tim Green started the food pantry two years ago. What you guys got? They knew there was a lot of people hungry in their town, but they didn't have anything. What's your number? And most distributors wouldn't give their surplus food unless you had a box truck to pick it up. Jana started baking. Making cakes. Cookies, pies, $20 here, $30 there. Well, there's a will, there's a way. Until she had enough to buy a used truck. Without her picking up donations and giving all that she gives, no one do. With more food came more families. 200, 500, soon 800 people started flooding the basement of Trinity United Methodist every single week. There were several months that the pantry had uh, little food. She would take food out of her own freezer and bring to make sure that nobody left her hungry. I've seen her take her coat off and give it away because it was cold and somebody was standing outside. You don't need anything. Alone, Jana drives to Indianapolis to pick up extra bread from here, meat and veggies from there. Hey, you got a new sidekick this week? But as food donations kept coming, Jana's sister says so did a bump in the road. Right now we don't have a truck because the brake line broke and I wrecked it. The truck was totaled, but Jana didn't quit. When we heard her story, we knew it was time for the Wish Patrol to step in. Hello, I am looking for Jana. Jana, Brooke Martin with Wish TV. Hi. You've been nominated for the Wish Patrol, and you've been selected. <laughs> Jana, you and Tim started this food pantry two years ago, and you have been serving hundreds and hundreds of people since. And there are a lot of people in this community who wanted to say thank you. And we're starting with Mr. Tim Rowe, with Rowe and Hamilton Law Firm. How are you? Hi, how are you? You've been such a blessing to this community and such an angel to the community and how you fed and helped people in Shelbyville. So the law firm of Rowe and Hamilton wanted to help you buy some food a little bit. So we're presenting you a check for $2,500. To Matthew 25 ministry, and we'll know that you'll bless the community with it. We're very we thankful for what you've done. We also um, have heard that you don't do a lot for yourself. You are constantly giving. And so, uh, on behalf of Harry and Izzy's, we have $250 for a night out, a dinner downtown in Indianapolis. And the JW Marriott would like to give you a night at their hotel and breakfast included whenever, whenever you would like to use that for yourself. Thank you yes. so much. And you know what? On second thought, there is one other person. Do you mind coming upstairs with me? That is awesome. Oh my God. What do you think? Oh my God. Wow. Come on, take a look. It's yours. This is oh Kelly gosh. and Randy Corson with Corson Fire and Security, and they got this truck for you. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Oh, wow. That was amazing. Something happened to your truck, right? Yeah, yeah. A couple my months ago. I had an accident in it, yeah. What do you do as far as transport and food? What will this truck mean for you? Um, we use the truck usually two or three times a week, and that's where all this food comes from. If it weren't for having a truck, we wouldn't be able to get it here. So this is, wow. Oh, wow. 
Oh wow! This is crazy. This is crazy. I like it. Signcraft Industries wrapped this truck for you. Isn't it happy? It is. I like it. I think they did a great job. They did an awesome job. We have one last surprise. Can you handle one more thing? I don't know. Okay. Where is Greg? Oh, Greg, wow. you're at Granite Transformations. <laughs> Meet Jana. Hey, <laughs> Jana. Hey, we want to thank you for everything you do for the community. And I know it takes a lot of planning and a lot of gas to shuffle all that food around. So we want to help you out with a check for $500 for gas. Wow. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Thank oh, my you. God. This is thank so you. incredible. What is going through your mind? Uh, a million things. <laughs> I'm usually not at loss for words, but I'm, I'm speechless. This is incredible. Things like this just don't happen to somebody like me. But um, oh, I thank you guys so much. I appreciate it so much, and it's going to help so many people. And just as we were about to leave, I saw what M2M stands for, written boldly on each red shirt. Matthew 25 Ministries. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I had to ask Jana. Why do you do what you do with Matthew 25 Ministry? Um, because I know what it's like to be hungry. Um, because I know what it's like to just need somebody to show you that they care. Um, and we may not be, you know, able to go out and touch everybody, but we've been bringing so many people in here and just spreading love through giving them food um, when they think that nobody cares or you know when they're just having a rough time they can come here and get what they want with no judgment and no questions asked we just freely give it to them and this is going to help us so so much wow